Hey y'all, Phantom DC here, going to be reacting to the Season 2 finale of Titans, Season 2, Episode 13, so let's get to reacting. Today the triumph of good over evil becomes not something you must only dream of, but something you can own. Ah, uh, weaponized Connor. Opportunity to purchase a fully programmable super soldier. They didn't want to buy it then, they're going to buy now. Walter, one more thing. Yeah. Connor? Damn! Damn, I'm telling you you're going to have Gar go crazy during a carnival now. So we're just going to break into Cadmus and get Connor and Gar out of there. Just a Four of us? We don't have no, you alone can do it, honestly, Rachel. Corey, we have plenty of firepower. My power is advantaged. What? What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know what happened, but they're gone, and I haven't been able to get them back. I'm curious if her sister has something to do with them. Disturbance at Golden Gate Park. Units responding. People are injured. Reports of a wild animal. That's Gar. They're hurting innocent people. We need to be prepared. Whoa! I was to say, was that Cadmus on them? Yes, finally! Freaking Nightwing! You should have stayed home. Jericho! I know you're in there. I know you're alive. Don't say his name! Is that the best you got? Dodging a lot of them. Accepted your true family. I have. Titans are my family. Oh, you see that sucker? Ooh. That ain't gonna kill him. Finally left his father. This is gonna take a little getting used to, but I gotta say, <laughs> I like the new digs. <laughs> I get it. Really? Is he dead? Yeah. How's Corey? I doubt he did. <laughs> you dead, man. <laughs> Help has arrived. Gonna pit Connor against Gar. It was even a challenge. Is that on his feet? That was a quick match. Just let the bit of see what he's capable of. No, got half the Titans. Please eliminate the Titans. Ah, uh, really? He's out of commission. Fuck, I regret it. My friend. <laughs> oh my god, she not tell you comes back in. Damn. 
saving your life. I'm doing just fine, clearly. I couldn't let you die before I had a chance to apologize. We'll talk about this uh, later. All right. Fix who's it. doing that? Something's blocking the feed. Technical difficulties, Miss Graves. Nah, Brucey. Things are getting super fucking ugly out here. I'm not gonna make fun of my suit. I just did. Really? What is this? Please come back. There we go. Wake up, homie. Oh shoot. Her voice. She tells me what to do. Ignore it, man. I can't make it stop. What is she telling you to do? Kill them. I can't find the light. Light. There we go. Better than being in darkness. No, uh, you better go, Cadmus. It's over. This is for Lex Luthor. Damn. Nah, <laughs> oh, shoot. Gone. Uh, they're gonna try to kill someone all? Yo. They just killed her off? Like, legit? Damn, she dead, really? We do not enter the field of battle lightly. Now, that's him and Gar blaming himself. Whether it be recognized in the present, or in some distant time, or never at all. I don't think that's Wonder Woman, but, uh... This is the hero's duty. All I'm saying is if there's any chance you want to go I'm not going to stop you but remember it doesn't matter how strong we are we can't always change the world but but can who try. knows what can happen when you bring her back with your powers try. well hello Jason he even come to the party I swear he better be like going a motorcycle on the way to Joker things inevitably the art of life seems to be in how you put them back together. Big facts, Bruce. Thanks for the suit, by the way. I'm pleased you patched it up with Stuart. Cranky bastard made me work for it. <laughs> yep. It's a far cry from Robin. That it is. And we still haven't heard the name drop Nightwing yet. Come on. That could be a perfect scene. She cared for people. Cared for doing right. I heard. So many people in it. And I didn't even remember doing it. It wasn't you. And it wasn't your fault. Really, then whose fault was it? Cadmus. Don't say yourself, Dick. I left you here alone. I never should have done that. What if we give it another shot? Please. You think Hank and Donna? Damn, really? I thought they were going to get back together by this episode. Hold on. Tomato is a fruit? <laughs> yeah, because it has seeds, apparently. I'm not sure we'd all be here if you hadn't. I'm not quite sure what you're referring to. What? Yes, Nevada. I'm sorry, I've never been to Elko. Perhaps you confused me with someone else. Then who was that in the previous episode? Yeah. There's cops in the bomb squad responding to a disturbance in the mission district. Sounds bad. Yeah, better suit up. What are you waiting for? There's our lineup. And crypto. 
the hell? Oh, black fire here. Whoa! So, not good a lot. This was a decent finale for the second season of Titans. I only have two gripes with this episode. One, I kind of wish that there was an actual fight between, you know, Rachel and, and Gar. Because I think about two episodes ago where we got that, you know, simulation of where, you know, Gar was, you know, talking to a quote-unquote Rachel or whatever he was in the Rachel's at um, Cadmus, you know, employee. I thought they were going to at least have, like, a situation by the finale, Rachel versus Gar, or, you know, Garber is at least a bunch of the members from Titans. Granted, you know, Connor is now a member of the Titans, but he wasn't a true member just yet. He's just being, like, in initiated into it. But we didn't. Instead, you got him, like, you know, scarring, you know, Rachel for a few seconds. Then she, you know, talked him out of it, just like how we pretty much kind of talked her out of it during, like, you know, the beginning of this season when it was up against Trigon. And secondly, you had the episode named Nightwing. We have, you know, finally Dick in a Nightwing suit, but no one at any point in this episode name drops Nightwing. Even the conversation he was having with Bruce, it would have been perfectly done if they had him say freaking Nightwing, that I'm no longer Robin, I'm something new, better, we are, yeah, I'm freaking Nightwing. And also about Bruce Wayne, that freaking wasn't Bruce Wayne in the previous episode, talking to, you know, Don... You know, Corey and Rachel and freaking Donna. Like, this whole time, that was, I'm guessing it was, like, freaking, you know, Rachel projected Bruce Wayne. Unless they're going to tell us that wasn't even, like, Rachel doing it in season three. Which, again, I'm guessing season three is going to be main and tag. It's going to be freaking Blackfire. But, oh, my gosh, he actually killed Donna. That's someone who I did not expect was going to die this season at all. Or any other freaking member of the current Titans who are going to end up dying. And when it was happening, I was like, wait a minute. Are they actually going to have the death of dawn but then all of a sudden you have freaking you know speed blitzing and try to like you know save you know people in the carnival and then she ends up dying and gar blaming himself and he's like oh it was because of me but again like dick said it wasn't full of you and then dick believes himself because hey because i left you alone but i'm like dude you can't always be there inevitably you're gonna either do a mission or you're just not gonna be there and gar you know has to do what gar has to do if no one's there so you should have just freaking blame yourself. What freaking else happened this damn episode? But oh yeah, the Deathstroke thing. I did not expect Deathstroke to be defeated in the early part of this episode. I thought at least near the end, because majority of the season hasn't pretty much been focused on Deathstroke. So it's like I'm surprised they even like have him be defeated that early on. But other than that, I doubt that he's even dead. <laughs> like even Donna too, because way how they just you know said oh near the end. You have Rachel, like, oh, maybe I can just go and try to, like, you know, bring her back or something. But even doing so, you're going to use her abilities, which, again, I don't know how <laughs> is freaking Donna even going to be her true self if she brings her back from the freaking dead. Just leave the dead be. But, hey, we're going to see some consequences to that in some shape or form. I can't wait to see how they're going to explore for season three. Because I remember, like, a freak a few weeks ago, they said, oh, season three is going to happen. So... Let's see what's going to happen. Anywho, like or dislike the video, comment what you guys saw the episode. Hey, if you're new, please subscribe. I'm Phantom D saying, and I am signing off.